Eye tag. Knee pads. Pleasers. Pole mat. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the pole bruises attacked. Only Kelsey's pole journey, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed her most, she vanished. A year passed and my brother and I discovered the new Kelsey's Pole Journey, a YouTube channel named Kelsey Haunts, and although her powers may be great, she still has a lot of subscribers to gain before she's ready to save anyone. But I believe Kelsey can dance on the pole. Book 1, Water. Avatar The Last Airbender is my favorite animated show of all time. To honor it, I'll be representing the four nations as four styles of pole dancing. Here in the Water Tribe, bending is soft, liquid, full of curves and pointed toes, the ebb and flow of the power of the moon, which means that the Water Tribe pole style is pole flow. Even non-benders in the Water Tribe have their iconic moves. How about this boomerang from my guy Sokka? This almost makes me forget that my first girlfriend turned into the moon. It was rough, buddy. Interlude, Air. Although the Air Nomads were wiped out in the war, one airbender remains, Avatar Aang, whose childlike curiosity and gentle nature make him a perfect fit for spin pole. In the series, Aang is already a master of airbending, having trained under the watchful eye of Monk Gyatsu. He's completely comfortable soaring through the air, here's his iconic move where he scoots around on an air ball. Oof, this is making me thirsty. I think I need some water. Drink cactus juice. It'll quench ya. Nothing is quenchier. It's the quenchiest. The only thing more iconic than the arrow on Aang's forehead is, oh look, it's his trusty pet flying lemur, Momo! Show us your moves, Momo. Well, Momo fell down. How are we gonna get from one place to another? Wait, I think I hear something. Two lovers, forbidden from one another, build a path to be together. Oh, and then I forget the next part, but then it goes secret tunnel through the mountains. Secret tunnel. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. Book two, Earth. The Earth Kingdom is rugged, powerful, and full of strength. They are the static power polars. Now, I'm not quite advanced enough in my avatar training to be capable of many power pull moves, but here are my best tries at things like, I think this is called a fonji. And here is a human flag. Earthbenders tackle all of the moves that require brute strength. They're the only ones allowed to have flexed feet. To them, split grips are easy, and there is no war in Bossing Se. Let's see if this earthbender can do an iron X. The boulder cannot do that move just yet. Here comes the earthbender whose name strikes fear into the heart of men ten times her size, Toph Beifong. 
She's black banged, badass, and blind. She relies on her feet to feel vibrations in the earth below her and... Sorry girl, my feet are too sweaty for that. <laughs> she created an entirely new type of earth bending. Metal bending, seen here as I do a shoulder mount. Look at that pole wiggle! Book 3, Fire. The Fire Nation is the most dangerous place to be, populated with hot-tempered benders propelled on by their fiery passions. That's why firebenders are exotic pole dancers. The pole itself is irrelevant to their hot, hot dances. They can create flames out of anything. The Fire Nation also has the best clothes. Here's Ty Lee. That's a sharp outfit, Ty Lee. Careful, you could puncture the hull of an Empire-class Fire Nation battleship, leaving thousands to drown at sea, because it's so sharp. Ty Lee's not a bender, but she is terrifyingly flexible, able to hold a layback, I mean handstand, with just two fingers. Well, hey, Azula. Some members of the Fire Nation who do possess enormous power choose to live a more peaceful life, like Uncle Iroh, who prefers to sit cross-legged and sip tea. This tea is nothing more than hot leaf juice! Uncle, that's what all tea is. Wait, who's that shadowy figure wearing a blue mask? Are they part of the Fire Nation? The enemy state is so riddled with mysteries. The four nations may be different, and very, very few ever become masters of them all. Each has their strength, their beauty, and their power. Now that we have visited each nation and I, the Avatar, have united them, peace reigns over the land. The subscribe button appears on the right. A suggested video and playlist appear on the left. <laughs>